welcome, my wonderful friends. This is Apostle Levi Moses. I want to thank God for your life, and I hope I find you well. With my wife together, the prophetess, and we want to talk and speak blessings in your life. Prophetess, would you like to just greet our wonderful viewers today and speak a blessing over their lives? Absolutely. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited and thrilled to be here with you today. We have such an amazing, amazing teaching that is going to build you, that is going to exhort you, that is going to comfort you, and that is going to take you to the next level of spirituality in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as you are watching this, I know that the Spirit of God is going to impart in you grace for knowledge, for expansion, even for deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Powerful. Thank you so much, Prophetess. Thank you. What a wonderful God we serve. What a son we have to worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today's topic is going to touch you. It's going to bless you. And above all, you're going to receive keys on how to break out of the grip of a strong man. Because we're going to be talking about binding the strong man. It is a subject that Jesus Christ himself was touching in the book of Luke. And we're going to make Luke our wonderful chapter that we'll be dealing with today. So that is the book of Luke, chapter number 11. Uh, I'm going to be giving you some wonderful keys on how to bind the strong man. Mm. I'm going to be giving you, and before we talk about that, I also want to give you some uh, wonderful revelations so that you can be able to see and check uh, how to check if a person is under a manipulations or a control of a strong man. Now, when we talk about strong men, I want you to know that strong men can control people, strong men can control cities, they can control villages, they can control countries, they can control many things. So we're going to be talking about powerful information that will take you to the next level of your life. Now, reading from the scripture that I mentioned, the book of Luke, we, we want to learn something from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is going to be very, very powerful. That's the book of Luke, chapter number 11, from verse number 21. When a strong man, armed, keepeth his place, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he take it from his all his armor, wherein he trusted and divided his spoils. Wow. So what happens is a family that is under a spell of a strong man, they inherit diseases. So what the mother is going through, you begin to see daughters, they also experience the same. Or what the father is going through, you begin to also see uh, sons and they're going through. And um, the, the most wicked part about a strong man, if it's not dealt with prophetess, a strong man can live in a generation from generation to generation. Mm. So if it's not dealt with, this is a very stubborn condition that controls the minds of the people, the spirits, their souls, actually everything, including the language that wow. people will speak. Mm. You remember the story of um, Gideon? Yes. The Bible says that Gideon uh, was called a mighty man of valor mm. by the angel that appeared to him. But just soon after the angel communicated to him, he began to question the will of God, what God wanted to do in his life. Because he says, because in our family, we suffer a strong spirit of poverty. Mm. So Gideon had an understanding that though I am anointed, I am a man of God, though there is a call of God upon my life, the only thing that might end up hinder that which God has for me. The, the inherited conditions that are in my father's house, which was the spirit of poverty. Mm. You read the book of Gideon, chapter number six, you find that truth. So, so the Bible says, then an angel appeared to him and he gave him an insight. He says, if you want to break out of that strong man, you have to understand the teaching of altars. Erect an altar so you can be able to break that which your father mm. had been suffering from because his Powerful. father was also suffering from that same spirit and his own entire family. Powerful. So now what is so amazing is he's a man of God. Yes. He's an anointed minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ but yet you see that Gideon is going through a certain limitation. So mm. we're going to be exposing a strong man that can cause a person to be sick. If mm. you read the book of Luke chapter 13 from verse number 10 
I'm going to show you something amazing that's going to blow your mind. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues mm -hmm. on the Sabbath. Yes. And behold, there now, was a woman. Something. When I started, I said, you can even be a person who goes to church. Yes. And you can be under the spell of a strong man. Very true. Now at this scripture, we see Jesus Christ is teaching in a synagogue. Mm. Jesus is teaching in a church. Yes. These are gatherings of believers, people that yes. are gathering to worship, mm. to pray. Mm -hmm. And Jesus found a person who was under a spell of a of strong, a strong man. man. And even what is so shocking, he even addresses her as a daughter of Abraham. My mm. God. Hallelujah. Now look at it. Read it, prophetess. What does it say? It says, now he was teaching in mm. one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And behold... There was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity. Remember the word spirit of infirmity. Mm. Spirit of infirmity. These are spirits that can be inherited. Wow. Okay. And now what is so shocking, Jesus is looking at this woman and he discovered that her condition is a result of a spirit. And I'm going to show you something amazing. You know, there are some conditions that sometimes we look at, like I said, we normalize. Until somebody stronger appears on the scene who is powerful. able to know powerful. that this condition is not just a, there is a spirit behind the condition. Hallelujah. So the strong man in this woman's life has been kicked out. Jesus is about to kick it out. Why? Because he is the stronger than the strong man. Amen. Read it. It says, uh, had a spirit of infirmity. Had a spirit of infirmity. 18 years. 18. Jesus Christ. For 18 good years. Uh -huh. And was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. She was bent over and she couldn't raise herself up. Yes. Go ahead. But when Jesus saw her, mm. he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus is appearing and he is breaking the chain of a strong man. Jesus says when a strong man is in a place right he takes all the goods and he takes everything to himself mm -hmm. but he says when somebody stronger, stronger than he than him come comes mm -hmm. oh this is so good Hallelujah. jesus was talking about the results of the cross yes so jesus is communicating the strong man that he was communicating about in the first place it was satan Yes. So him talking about somebody who is stronger than he, because if you read that scripture, I want you to see the verse after the issue or this topic of the strong man, what Jesus is going to be communicating about it. Very mm. amazing. Mm. He that is not with me is against me. Did you hear that? So it's a continuation. Mm. He's talking about the strong man. Yes. Then later he says somebody who is stronger is the only one who can come and arrest him. So the stronger that Jesus is talking about at this juncture is talking about the cross. Mm. So Jesus is saying when the cross, the process, the process of the cross is completed, mm. what is going to happen is this is the only thing that can override the other strong man that was dominating. Now remember. When Adam fell, he fell as a result of the strong man. Yes. Now we're talking about Lucifer who yes. came as a serpent. Yes. So now Jesus Christ is coming as somebody who is stronger than the one who tricked the first Adam. So as a result of the cross, Jesus is talking about the moment you introduce the cross, you weaken the chains of a strong man. Hallelujah. And as I said, number one, I said a strong man in place. When a strong man is in somebody's life, he causes serious sicknesses. To and I'm going to give you a Again, another scripture, mm. uh, the book of Mark chapter number 9, verse number 20. You're going to see another symptom of a strong man. There are families that inherit uh, madness. Mm. Like sometimes they are reasoning. You just feel like there is something that is happening in this family. People, they don't reason well. Oh. A strong man can cause people to think some way. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him mm -hmm. straight away, the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. And he asked his father, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said of a child, mm. and oftentimes it has cast him into the fire. Madness. Into the water. Lunatic spirit. To destroy him. Read that again. And oftentimes, mm. what does it do? It says, it had cast him into the fire. Casted him into the fire. Into the water. Into the water. To destroy him. To destroy him. So you see what is happening here. This is a spirit that causes people to behave some way. To think some way. Mm. And the Bible says Jesus Christ asked them. How long has this thing been in this young man? 
And the Bible says, they said from childhood, that means the boy was born, he inherited it. It's a spirit that was passed on him, to him. Now, he acts the way he's acting, he thinks the way he's thinking as a result of a strong man Mm. that was operating in the family. Mm. And that's the reason why when Jesus Christ was about to deal with this condition, he asked the father, why is he asking the father? Yes. This is very, very powerful. Yes. This was an inheritance. This was something that was known in the family. Jesus Christ being the stronger one, Bible says he casted it out. Now listen, the disciples, they tried to deal with the spirit of a strong man prior to Jesus Christ casting it out and they couldn't do anything. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, who is the strongest in this place, he is able to cast it out. And Bible says the child became normal after the spirit has been casted out. Hallelujah. So you have to understand if you see some people sometimes who think some way, it's not because they want to think like that or we act some way. Most of the times it is a sign and a symptom of a strong man in the family. Powerful. And there are ways to deliver Mm. and to remove such kind of spirits Mm. out of their lives. Or let me just talk about how the strong men enter people's lives. Yes. What gives strong men legal ground to operate or to possess people or to enter Mm. people's lives Mm. it Mm. is sin wow sin is what legalizes spirits demons to to operate to manipulate people's lives to manipulate systems so you hand over a generation by sin Mm. you hand over a city a country a nation to these strong spirits by the sins they commit. That's why you see that's the same thing that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. So God had to destroy it. Why? Because as you can see here, I'm going to give you some powerful scriptures here that is going to blow your mind. Second sure. Samuel chapter number 12 from verse number 13, if you are there. Yes. They penetrate through sin and when a strong man has entered Uh, through sin it binds the mind Mm. it controls the mind the system of the family are you there second samuel chapter 12 verse 13 what does it say prophet and david said unto nathan i have sinned against the lord and nathan said unto david Mm. the lord also hath put away thy sin the lord has also put away thy sin but look at something amazing go ahead yes Mm. uh thou shalt not die Thou shalt not die. Yes. Go ahead. How be it? Because by this deed thou hast given great occasion to the enemies mm. of the Lord. Did you see that? To blaspheme. D- did you hear what is going Very on here? Powerful. The word of God is saying, Yes, you have sinned, and because of what you did, you have given the legal ground. Wow. To the enemy. Now, whenever we talk about the enemy, we're talking about the strong men that I'm just trying to define here. Yes, you have given him the legal ground to function. Very powerful. To produce mm. So, the moment you sin, you are giving the enemy the legal ground. And now, look what happened. Wow. Because David opened that door. Yes. And look at what is about to happen now. Go ahead. It says, mm. the child also that is born unto thee shall die also. Now, you will not die. But you have but, opened. Do you see what I'm saying? Wow. But you have opened a, a door. door a legal now, right. The door that you have opened, you have not opened the door to the Lord, but to the enemies of God. Gosh. Very powerful. And he says, because of what you have done, there is nothing that God is going to do at this juncture. Wow. Because the enemy has become the strong man of the house now. My God, this is so powerful. And he is going to make sure that the child will die, no matter how much you pray. No matter how much you fast. Now, remember, David started fasting. I, I think it's good. It's good. This we follow. Is so powerful. We, we, we follow with the word of God. Go ahead, prophet. And Nathan departed unto his house. Yes. And the Lord struck the child that Uriah's wife bare yes. unto David. Mm. And it was very sick. Mm. David therefore besought God for the child. And David fasted mm. and went in and lay all night upon the earth go ahead and the elders of his house arose and went to him Mm. to raise him up from the earth but he would not Mm. neither did he eat bread with them and it came to pass on the seventh day that the child died go ahead and what the child died but the bible says david tried to pray 
and fast. David tried to fast. Mm. But nothing changed. Wow. Why? Because the scripture said you have opened the door to the enemies of, of God. The Lord. You have given the legal ra- ground to the enemies of God. By sinning. By against. this sinning against the Lord. Now I'm going to show you something amazing. So powerful. Something powerful. powerful. So the child has inherited a condition and which has given the legal ground to the strong man. It's just an inheritance that took place because he is a child of somebody who opened the door. And I, 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 believe, I believe what I'm saying, there are many people that are watching that are saying, there are things that I'm going through in my life and some of them I don't understand yeah. or I might have not committed this sin, but oh what's going on with my life? Oh you might be battling a strong man mm. and for you to be able to break it, we will do a prayer. And I would like you to actually be part and part of the people that are going to be praying along so that God can be able to touch you. Now, remember, I will introduce you to somebody stronger. Mm. Now, we're talking about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And there are prayers that you need to be taught as well. Mm. But before we get there, let's get the book of John, chapter number 9, from verse number 1. It says something amazing, which I want you to pay attention to. Yes, go ahead, prophet. And as Jesus passed by, Mm -hmm. he saw a man. He saw a man. Which was blind from his birth. Which was blind from his birth. I want you to see something. According to the teachings the disciples have received from Jesus about the strong men, that these are conditions that can be inherited. Now, at this time, the Bible says Jesus met a young man who was born. I want you to pay attention to the word who was born blind. Mm. Who was born blind. Now, when he saw the man, Papa says Jesus Christ prayed for him and he healed him. Yes. Please pay attention to this. But after the miracle, the disciples came later to Jesus and they said, Who sinned? Yes. Him or his parents? Mm-hmm. Now, because the disciples were told that there are also conditions that people are suffering, like David, what happened to David and his son. There are people who are suffering in conditions as a result of the yes. parents' sins. Mm-hmm. So at this time, they're asking Jesus, according to the teaching that you've been giving us, is it a strong man that caused this young man to be in this state? Mm. And at this time, Jesus says, no, this one is not the issue of a strong man. But my point, I want you to understand that even the disciples were growing in understanding Mm. that some people, they are suffering as a result of a strong man. Very powerful. Sometimes it's a result of the sins of the parents that this child might have inherited. So if you study your Bible, you are going to discover that in the family of Abraham, Abraham is a man of God. God has chosen him. But if you study, you are going to discover that there was a problem in the family of Abraham. Number one, they fought a strong man of lying. Now, what was happening in the life of Abraham happened in all his children's life. That they lied. Uh, in defense of their wives. Mm. Bible says as well, they were marrying wives that were barren. Mm. All of them. Mm. Why? Because this is a strong man in the family. It's like a pattern. Yes. Three generations mm. experiences the same thing. Absolutely. So, you have to now understand that if in your family there are things that your brother is going through, your sister is going through, your mother is going through, or your father might be going through. You have to understand that it's either the family is going through a case or a pattern of a strong man. And for you to break out of it, you need to introduce somebody who is stronger. I go to the book of Luke chapter number uh, 11. I believe the teaching is opening your eyes and I believe the teaching is blessing you. If you read the book of Psalms 103 Mm -hmm. from verse number 1, This is going to also help you to understand steps and stages that you take into that process of breaking the hold of a strong man. Psalms 103 verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Yes. Bless his holy name. Yes. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Number three, that's what I want. Mm. Number three. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, Mm. who healeth all thy diseases. I want you to say something. Iniquities. Iniquities and sins. Totally different things. Now, iniquities are things that 
are results in the products of the fathers. Mm. So the fathers have committed. Wow. And you are a, you are a victim of what the fathers circumstances. circumstances. So David is repenting from the sins of his father. Mm. Then he repents from his own sins. Mm. And then we talk about love. Every time you're talking about love, love is a person. He's introducing Jesus to the picture. Hallelujah. And this was the change of the life of David. Now remember at this time, after David sinned against God, his son died. Later, the Bible talks about even in his own family, there was a lot of fights and battles. Yes. Why it was a result of this strong man that Absolutely. was causing confusion. But at this scripture that you are seeing, the Bible says David started repenting mm. even from the sins that he himself doesn't know. Things that happened before he appeared on the face of the earth. And the Bible says from this very day, David experienced the deliverance. Thank you, Lord. That was the time David now ended up anointing and appointing Solomon. So I would like you, if you are watching this wonderful broadcast and you are saying, Lord, I've been going through some things that I do not understand and I want God to really touch me, mm -hmm. break me out of the hole of the devils that has been operating in my family. Mm -hmm. I want you to take wonderful time to pray with us this wonderful prayer. You, we want to introduce you to Jesus, Hallelujah. who is the author and the finisher of our faith, Thank you, so Lord. he can touch, Thank heal. You, and deliver you. Hallelujah. Mighty name of Jesus Thank Christ. You, Prophet, Lord. I don't know, you might want to say something. I know this, I've, been, this, I've been running with this teaching. No, this is really, really powerful. Amen. Uh, because, Apostle, I think uh, we are so, we can be so quick to repent of the things that we know we have done. Yes. But then, for us to really ask for the iniquity of our fathers, yes. it's it's not very common mm. you know mm. Mm. we can be accountable for what we have done mm. but it's hard to be accountable for other people their their things because some people don't even know what their parents did yeah some people they didn't even grow up with their mom yeah some people came from a different background yeah and some people are even adapted apostles so mm. this is eye-opening and i strongly believe that this is a way out to certain prayers that we've been praying Hallelujah. certain patterns that we've been going through and really don't know how to get out Hallelujah. of it perhaps Hallelujah. Hallelujah. somebody can be in a position to really go before the lord to just say lord I don't know what they might have done but i repent i don't know what my mother has been doing i don't know what my father has been doing their father's father has been doing but on the behalf of my generation yes yes this is this is very deep prophet it's very powerful the pastor see, is that is i want to conclude with this i want to i want to show you the power of 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 a strong man mm. in the bible yeah. this is very deep very powerful and, and a lot of people are under this this operation this this entity sometimes unaware. Mm. The Bible said something, I'm going to touch it as I'm going to go to this verse. Yes. Strong men can be fought with somebody who is stronger. That's the book of Luke 11. Mm. Bible says something in the book of uh, uh, Genesis. Mm. He says, and to guard my son, when, 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 when Israel was blessing his, his children, he came to God and he started speaking some powerful things. Yes. But he, there is a part he said, a troop shall overcome, overcome thee, him. and you shall be able to overcome at last. Yes. Now, this was a word spoken, and when the word was spoken, it gave a right wow. to the enemies, to the spirits, wow. to the strong men. Wow. And from that day, till you run from the book of Genesis, you get to the book of Mark chapter 5. Mm. That's where Jesus Christ said, I am going to enter a city of the Gadarenes. When Jesus says, let us go to the other side. Yeah. Now, remember, Jesus Christ, I told you from the beginning, he is the one who is stronger. Yes. In between, Moses mentioned a story. There was the story about God. Sure. But he said a prayer. Yes. And the prayer that he mentioned was not to deliver God. Mm. But the prayer of Moses, he only said, Lord, let not God's men be few. Mm. But he didn't say that God is going to be blessed or God is going to break the yoke of the father or the strong man. Mm. But now, when you read the book of Mark chapter 5, 
Mm. The Bible says the men in the land of the Gadarenes, remember the Gadarenes was taken from the word God. God, yes. So when Jesus appeared on the scene, the spirits, the strong men, recognizing him that he was stronger, they recognized Jesus. That this is the man who is stronger. That's why they had a conversation yes. of knowing who Jesus Christ was. Yes. And the Bible says, prior to Jesus appearing, there are many people who tried as well to cast out, to deliver. But instead of them delivering, the Bible says they were beaten. Some of them, they were attacked with this evil spirit. Yes. But the Bible says when Jesus Christ at, mm. of the gatherings, the Bible mm. says he commanded it out. Wow. Why? Because they knew him. They knew his position. Mm. They knew who he was. Absolutely. And the Bible says Jesus arrested them, commanded them to the swine. Yes. And from the swine, they went into the marine. Yes. This is a powerful story to give you an understanding. Actually, a very good illustration from the Bible to understand the power of the strong man. How he can change a generation. Mm. How he can change generations. How Imagine from Genesis to the book of Mark, how many generations the generation of God was under a spell mm. until Jesus Christ Jesus came, came yeah. to deliver them. Yes. This might be your day of freedom. Thank you, Father. I don't know what you're going through, Hallelujah. what your family is going through, but you are not hearing this as a mistake. Mm. May the Lord give you grace to break the strong men in your family. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord give you anointing enough and understanding enough and hearing ear Hallelujah. to be able to stand in the gap between your first generation and the generation that is coming after this. Thank you, Jesus. That the Lord shall give you grace. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Prophet, I want you to just stretch hands with me and we just, we just speak in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. And everybody that is watching, if you can just repeat after us as mm. we're speaking, Thank you, Jesus. We want you to pray a prayer of allowing Jesus Christ mm. to come into your life mm. and to fight your battles. Thank you, Lord. Because he is a winner and you always win. Thank you, Father. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We repent our sins. We repent our sins. And we also repent we also of the repent iniquities, of, the iniquities of, our families, of our forefathers, inherited, inherited sicknesses, sicknesses, and forefathers. And forefathers. We, pray we pray that as we connect to this prayer, as we connect to this prayer, enter into this life of the one that is praying with us. Amen. We pray Thank that you Jesus. baptize them Hallelujah. with your love. You deliver them deliver. with your loving kindness. Thank we you, pray in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. that today is the beginning of a new thing. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, yes, we believe that by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, you, Jesus. there is forgiveness of sins, yes, Lord. cleansing of transgressions, you, and even iniquities. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Jesus that name. which was meant not to be achieved shall be achieved again. Amen. That which could not be forgiven is being forgiven. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, and may that strong man be bound, Hallelujah. be broken. In Thank the name you, Jesus. of Jesus Christ, Amen. we pray. Thank you, Lord. If you pray that prayer by faith, the Lord has done a wonderful thing. Thank you, Jesus. Prophet, do you want to say something as we go? These are powerful, powerful tips and nuggets to Amen. most people who've tried and failed. Amen. Um, Apostle, these are life-giving words Hallelujah. that you are imparting in us today. Amen. Thank you so much for being Amen. used by God so Hallelujah. mightily. Mm. We appreciate you. And those of you that you've been watching us and continue to watch us, let us know if there is any topic that you want us to bring about. There is so much grace of the Word of God that we can bring to you. I know many of you request deliverance, healing, but we also want to accommodate other people from everywhere. If there is any subject that is uh, you've been desiring for us to bring about, you let us know on the website or even on Facebook Amen. page Amen. inbox inboxes will be happy to accommodate and bring about a teaching that will uh, edify you in Jesus name. so wherever you're watching us from make sure you share this broadcast and uh, those of you that have been standing with the ministry sub uh, subscribers partners uh, all works of life wherever you are may doors open for you Thank and may you the Jesus. Lord prosper you mm. we love you dearly in the name of Jesus Christ don't forget to register for the coming conference in May 
It's going to be life changing. God wants to touch lives, change lives. Prophet, any word about the conference that you want to say right now? Yeah. Uh, save the date, May 12 and 13. People already booking on that. Yes. Uh, RSVP um, on the website. It's already on Facebook page. If you want to just go on the main page, you'll find out there is a link to, for you to just RSVP. It's absolutely free. In Dallas, Texas. Just let us know how many people that you're going to be bringing so that we can accommodate you with seats. But overall, your life is never going to be remaining the same. God is on a move. The, the revival that is already starting across the state is coming to Dallas. And we want you and your family to be a part of it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Stay under the shadow of the mighty God. Glory to In God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. Thank you, Jesus. You can end it. <laughs> I'm ready for someone to show up.